What's up, everyone? My name is Nagark. Welcome back to Planet Base. We are going go, blah, blah, blah. We are going to load into Rebirth here. We are still on version 1.0.1, .1, so that's gonna be that's gonna be great. That is gonna be great. I'm hoping today we can get the anti meteor laser. Right clicking a message will dismiss it without focusing on it. That's good. That's good. So our power is still pretty good. We are charged up to 35k right now, and I just got an email. What what great timing. I love, I love getting emails, like, right as I start recording. So, okay, it was from PayPal, it doesn't matter. But, our food is still doing pretty good. Mealmaker isn't constantly churning out food. We are, I'm gonna start trying to get a backlog of stuff too, that's one of the major points of, like, everyone being upset with me right now, is that I'm just not stockpiling all of my food quite, quite as much as I could be. And that's just because... Like I said, I need to rush to certain things. I think I'm gonna get a little bit more redundancy out here. I know I'm using up all my metal, which could be going towards the anti-meteor laser. And I just said, oh, you want me to save up resources. But I need to get to those those things. I need to get to the anti-meteor laser, which is gonna save me a bunch of like pulling out my hair later. And I would love it to be right here, it's just not going to fit right here, and I know it. I'm probably going to have to have it over here, as well as maybe figuring out... You know what, maybe maybe I could throw it over here. I'm trying to think, where would I best... where would it be best fit? To be entirely honest, I really wish it could be here. And it's just not going to. I don't know if it's going to protect... It doesn't show the radius of what it protects whenever I place it. So I don't know if it will protect over... It should protect, like, right here, if I have it right here. And then I could maybe build another, like, up in this area. Because I'm, I'm going to be expanding this way. So I think placing it right here is going to be a-okay. I think this is going to be great. And I'm just placing it so that they can start... They can start doing that. My, my vegetables are starting to go down a bit. So I'm going to be looking... Oh, we have two workers that are injured right now. Um, we do have the medical supplies to be able to fix that. I do believe I'm not letting in colonists right now, which is accurate. That is correct. What do we have? Not a whole lot interesting here. I could get some ore. It's a 40% commission, which is not bad. Maybe a little bit of ore? It's going to take people off of their jobs. No, I don't want to trade medical supplies. I want to do plants. You know what? Eh. We aren't going to take people off of their jobs. I could have just used coins, and I know, but I want to save that for when there's, like, crucial issues. I'm also going to be, like I said, expanding sort of this way. I think is going to be good. Expanding this way. I may... I'm trying to think of, like how best to start laying out my base. I think that I'm going to need another canteen over here soon-ish, as well as maybe... I'm, I'm looking at how my food production is doing right now. That's sort of where my concern is coming in. But it looks like maybe... I kind of forgot. I don't know if I traded for something like right before I saved last time. So it might not be as bad as I think it is. Certainly no one is starving. But the next meal that I'm probably going to go for is something that has three ingredients. Or maybe like a, a burger, which is just maize and uh, meat or wheat and meat. So that might be something that I go for. And if I go for that, I would probably start expanding over here. Where it would be like a storage area, a biodome here, and then the canteen sort of over here-ish. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, we still need five metal over there. That's going to take quite a while. And it's really hard to start laying out the base properly because I'm trying to get it all perfect now, but I'm working with an already imperfect structure. So, like, if I put a biodome here and then a storage over here, there's going to be the storage right here that's already going to be sort of accepting things. And then I have to worry about, well, if there's starch over there, they're going to have to drag it all the way over here until I build a new processing plant. And those are the things that I'm thinking about right now. So I promise I am I am thinking as much as I can about 
like where things are going. Uh, we are going to also need a bot facility. Soon-ish. If, if my meals aren't an issue, like I'm gonna be watching them, if my meals aren't an issue, then I'm going to go with the bot facility, but it looks like I'm kind of skirting the edge. It feels like I'm kind of skirting it. A little bit. I have a lot of people eating on these tables right now. I'm also going to be watching for that. I do need more oxygen as well. There's a lot of things that I'm looking to expand to right now. Is, is what I'm getting at. And people keep getting injured in the mine. I'm really, I'm really not too keen on that right now. They just are constantly being injured in the mine, and that's why I want driller bots, but trading for driller bots is expensive. I'm really hoping when we get to like five or I'll lower priority on this. Yeah, it looks like it looks like we're gonna be in the position that they can just start dragging stuff out here. Let's set this to times four. My people are getting really hurt though. And I know, Zorin, you want me to build a freaking tree. I'm not building a tree. I'm gonna go with another medicinal pad in there though. Just because so many people are getting hurt right now, and I don't really need the food. Not for this at least. If, I, if I'm getting more food, it's going to be expanding to a new, like an entire new canteen and dorm and all of that. That's, that's my plan, is if I'm going for food, it's going to be building out that way. I'm trying to think if I need to start worrying about intruders like anytime soon. That's why I was looking at my prestige here. It's at 49. Sorry. It's at 49, so I am a little bit worried about it. And also, I'm worried about my bed situation. So, it, I, yeah, food stocks are low. So after this, after this is all done, I'm going to be expanding towards getting a new fancy smancy canteen. And that will probably have to be a medium biodome as well, just because, again, resources. I can see if they'll survive off of all of this. I mean, they should. Even if they only start making basic meals, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine, but I really do need more beds. Beds is what I'm looking at. So after this is built, I think we'll go with an oxygen generator here. Sort of like over here, and I can start expanding this way and kind of doing cool things with that. I don't really want an oxygen generator in the middle of my base, but it's not going to hurt me. It's not going to hurt me in any way. We only need two more metal out here. So, here's one being made. That's one of them. Let's see if they continue enough to... Yeah, it's coming on out. Let's see if they actually make the next one. A trading ship. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit so I have... I can see here, this is a constructor bot. Mm, I don't really want a constructor bot. I don't really want to trade for their meals. They only have a 50% commission right now. I could trade for a little bit of their metal. So let's see. Let, let's do some math right here. So a metal or a bioplastic has a value of 10. Right? I believe it has a value of 10. So if I trade alpha spare, it only has a value of 20. Someone told me that it was higher. I don't think it actually is. Do not believe it actually is. I think they may have been going off of like the value of starch and ore, but the time is valued as well. For right now, I'm not going to trade for any of that. For right now, I'm just going to, I'm trying to finish up my anti-meteor laser. I haven't been hit with a meteor yet. And I'm counting my blessings right now. I'm really, I know that that's just dumb luck that I haven't been hit by one. Just incredibly dumb luck. But we, we can't, we can't be building off of dumb luck anymore. So here comes this metal. Our anti-meteor laser is going to be complete. And then I can start maybe waiting a little bit for some resources just to see how things work. Because I do need another airlock. I need an airlock coming out to this side. This one isn't doing, isn't going to be great anymore because look at this trip. It's ridiculous. I don't like it. 
And my people, I'm certain, do not like it. We're, we're, hover, eh. we're hovering at about 15k energy at night. At the end of night, but this is gonna start draining, draining a lot of it. 4.5 kilowatts, I believe that is. Which is pretty concerning. I'm just gonna let my workers do their thing, but... Let's see, I have one metal, 18 bioplastic. Like, I'm really good on bioplastic, which is fine, because I need that for my workbenches. And again, I know this isn't in perfect positions. So they have to walk all crazy wonky to get to things, and it's not its not great. But it's okay. It's not dreadful. And I am spending some of my metal and bioplastic in here. But again, that's also okay. Because, hey, we destroyed a meteor. It may not have hit me anyways, but it's better that it's destroyed. Because this place has a high risk of meteor. And as much as I can alleviate that and not, not get smacked around by those things, the better. The absolute better. So, uh, I definitely need food next. And as much as I would love to go with... Like... Ah, that was a storage. As much as I would love to go with the 7-7, seven, seven, it's looking like I might have to go with the 5-5. Five, five. I'm doing pretty good on metal right now, though, but those are going to start going towards spares. And I don't want to take take the resources quite yet. I think I may just wait like a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna let this fast forward. Look at, see, people are getting tired. I really need more beds. And I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it literally right now. Don't, don't you worry. Do not you worry. I am thinking about this right now. It looks like I might want to... I don't know, if I cut off right here, if that's gonna be bad. Hmm, where do I want a new bed? A new, like, living area. By the lab might be good. Let's look at some trade really quick. GM onions is 60% commission. You, I, I can't really trade for anything right now. Let's go with a biodome. It's gonna be a 5-5. Five five. We're gonna go with a biodome right... Right over here, I think. Mm. Mm. I really don't want this storage to be used for this biodome, though. That's my major issue with this, is that I don't want the storage to be used for this biodome. Which is, I fear, what's gonna happen. I could try to get rid of that storage at some point. But getting rid of a lot of my storage is also pretty concerning. You know what, let's do the airlock thing like I was- or the um, oxygen thing like I was saying. I'm gonna throw it sort of down here because I'm not gonna be able to get it to connect to both. And that anti-meteor laser is going to town. So we are getting the oxygen here, which is gonna just help spread out some of these things. And it's also going to be close to my cabins. I know some people want me to build cabins off of the oxygen generator. And that's a thought. It is a thought, but it's not one that I'm really interested in right now. Let's see, what would it look like? Let's do a dorm. It would look like this. That's not bad. It's certainly not bad. It would help alleviate my sleep issues right now, but... I'm more concerned about the food issues than I am the sleep issues. So the biodome is going to be something like right here with the storage right here and the canteen right here. And maybe like the lab down here? No, it would be biodome here, storage, lab, canteen, beds. Or at least like a bed, or something like that. That's what I'm looking at right now. That's because biodome here, storage here, lab here, canteen. The oxygen would still get over there, it would be fine. The oxygen from this place would still be okay. 
And are we making basic meals yet, or are we still doing pastas? We're still doing pastas. Uh, one of my workers got injured. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. But we do have the oxygen generator. It has all of its stuff now, so I'm willing to place down the biodome. We'll place that down, and now we can see sort of what the storage will look like. I'm hoping to get... Yeah, storage. I'm hoping to get one of these storages. And I'm not gonna let it build, but I want to see... Okay, it will, it will be able to attach to both. And then I should be able to have a dead-end lab right here. And I'm trying to think, where do I want the airlock on the side as well? Because I need one. And for right now, I will probably just have this biodome making a little bit of wheat. Because for the burgers that I intend on making, they also use wheat. Because I'm just, I'm just gonna use wheat, because in case it starts plaguing the other food thing, it's, it's just wheat. Like, what, what bad will come from it? It's just extra wheat for this. So the tomatoes and mushrooms will just make more pastas. See, this is going to make basics, because we don't have any wheat over here. And it's partly probably because my storage is getting a little bit full, and I don't know the exact ratio of what I have to do for all of this. Because, remember, wheat makes two food, and mushrooms and um, anything else makes three, if it isn't a starchy. So I may have needed, like, one more wheat and one less mushroom. I'm not going to mess with it right now. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm gonna fast forward this up. Man, this candle smells good. I've gotten into um, hobby candle making lately. I know it sounds kind of weird, especially for a 23 year old guy, but um, it's it's a lot of fun. It's like super easy, and we have made like gingerbread, which is the one that I'm burning now. We've made gingerbread candles. We've made um, dragon's blood, which is like a sort of a musky. Musky but sweet smelling candle. And we also made a, um, what's it called? It's like, you use it in fabric a lot. I can't remember exactly what it was called. It's not linen, it's, um, crap, it's yellow. I can't remember, but it smells really good, and we have that too. So I'm like, I'm just recording, and I have a candle that I made burning in front of me. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. So our oxygen is doing pretty well, now that I built that one. They're pretty close together, admittedly, but that's alright. For right now, I'm just, I'm really concerned about my food. I didn't realize it was getting quite so dire, letting in all of those people, and, you know, my sleep isn't, isn't great. But we did just, we are getting more food, it's just, it's not going to be pastas. It's probably going to be mostly basics. Oh, this is going to be pastas. We're gonna get pastas and maybe a little bit of basic here. Yeah, it's just... Solar flare detected. Well, I have something to combat that. Everyone just stay inside. Okay, we have some food issues. We are certainly getting some food issues here. Okay. You know what? The solar flare was detected so early that... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. We need the food right now. So I'm going to take off the alert. I'm going to let them trade. So solar flare detected should be two steps ahead. I should get one more warning before imminent. We're just waiting on one more medical supply. And then we have food out there. It's not great, these are all meal basics, but um, I just, I don't want my people to starve to death. Like this guy, he's, he's a little bit risky right now. And it may also be partly because of tables. Is it night? It's night. Oh no, it's day. It's day now. Okay, and now that they have grabbed everything, we're gonna yellow alert. Everyone get inside. That's exactly why I built all of this. Besides, you know, the anti-meteor laser? Yeah. 
And now that we have a solar flare, I don't- I didn't feel like looking it up, but I will be able to tell if- Why are you in here? Get out of there, you crazy. We'll be able to tell if we get solar panel- solar power during solar flares. Solar flare imminent. I believe we do get solar panel, it would make sense. I mean, it doesn't really affect, like, anything happening to solar. I mean, kind of, but kind of not. So they're all going to be working inside, getting us more food, getting us more metal. My food is still pretty low. Which is concerning, of course. Of course it's concerning, but... I think I'm in kind of an alright spot. I mean, we're going to have the metal to build this once the solar flare is over. Which is any time now. I'm just waiting on the music. That's all I- that's all I listen for is the music, and I know when it's over. It's over. I know I can kind of tell by the ground and stuff, but... It's just easier for me to go by the music. Where do I want this airlock? I really need one over here. Like, it's crucial that I get an airlock over here somewhere. Okay, I'm totally out of food now. What I'm probably gonna do, is as soon as this is built, I'm probably just going to fill it all the way up with bio- with the plants. And just sort of let that do it. Well, I can't really fill it all the way up, because I'm gonna have some medical supplies or medicinal plants in there as well. But we have a very large backlog of bioplastic, and I can see that in my stores too. And starch. So I'm not concerned about running out of bioplastic right now, but I will be keeping another eye- like, a big eye on it. And I may need more water. I may need w more water. Okay, we're fixing that up. Fixing that up. It's nighttime, so... This is being brought over here. So, yeah, we, we're getting bursts of food, essentially, it's just because that's how everything is lining up. So, like, this 77, and this, this 79, it's probably the same one, that 99, it's all, like, finishing at the same time, so... There are times that I'm running out, and there are times that I'm a little bit high on it. What do you have? Nothing that I really want to trade for except maybe basic food? But even then, I really don't want to trade for basic food. I think I'm going to be able to sort out my issues without having to trade for stuff right now. Especially once that- once we make one more metal, which would be this one. My shortage is pretty much always metal. That's something that I'm aware of. Uh, it sucks having people get injured. It's just I don't have the opportunity to either make driller bots or trade for them. They're expensive. Alright, Engineer is coming out to put this down. Hopefully he builds it as well. But I am certainly putting a, some wheat plants in here as soon as I can. Which is also going to help with my starch backlog, which is really nice. Okay, so... How's my power doing? We are... Do-do-do, right here. It looks like we're still charging up to max. We're still charging up to max. Okay, now the engineer is coming out to build it. But it's- I'm like skirting the edge of possibly not having enough power, which is gonna be even worse after this, because look at how much power it drains with all of the plants. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. No, you go over there and you build that connection. Don't mess with me. You KL Miles, I don't like you. And we definitely need more water, or a water tank. Let's go with the water tank. Can I get you in here? I keep trying to get anything in there, and it's just not working entirely in my favor. I'm not gonna spend, like, minutes doing this like I was before, because I can see that it's not gonna attach over there. But like right here, well a small one can attach here, but I do want a big one, but a small one for now, just to have it, is okay with me. 
Because that's two metal. We've run out of food, yes. Thank you for building that connection. And now, we're going with wheat. Let's just make sure, I don't think we can make pasta with maize, it wouldn't make any sense. But just to make sure pasta... Pasta, yeah, no. You can make pasta with rice and chicken. I guess that's one way of doing things. Six more wheat. Because that's going to be built anyways because of my burger operation that I'm going to have over here. So that's why I'm not concerned about doing that. And you can see everyone's rushing over to place it and stuff. But that should really help alleviate my food issues. Yeah, all of those components are being built. Which is really good. Really, really good. But next concern is power and water again. Because adding on one of those is... Very power consuming. Very power consuming. We're already using six more power than I was a second ago, and that's going to go up when I get the water tank. Um, my spares are still doing okay. My semiconductors were almost maxed out on. We do have a metal in there, so that's part of why the metal isn't coming out here. Until they start making more of that. But I do need to do the expanding over here before I can let in more people. I need to get more beds before I let in more people. So the next thing that I'm going to be building is the storage. And it's probably going to be a medium storage. After the water tank. Yeah, Biodome is out of water. I know. That's the driller bot patent. And it's only for a 45% commission. Oh my gosh, I really want that. Let me... Let me think about this. That's... I can't. I cannot trade for it. Like, I could with spares. I could get up to 290. I could do that, and I could buy it. But that will put my base in a really bad spot, and a lot of people would be getting off of their jobs to do that. And that's not something that I want to do right now. But a carrier bot, I think, is in the cards. I think a carrier bot is in the cards. Alright, we are getting a water tank. Which probably won't be charging up because I think... Yeah, this one oscillated really far down. But yeah, this thing is out of water. So... I, I don't think I can st skirt the edge with water extractors anymore. I think I have to pay a bit more attention to those. Yes, we're out of water, I know. So this one is almost at max. This one is really low right now. And it's just a small water tank, but it's it's better than not having one, right? Yeah, I definitely, unless it's mines, I can't build anything else out here. I keep trying, just to make sure that I can't. And also, let's see, did I, did I mess up over here? Can I still build this way? Like, if I wanted a bot, let's say a bot facility over here, just... Okay, there's, I can still attach, like, a small building over here. Which means I can probably attach another small building right there. I was just making sure. Okay, our water is going up a little bit. Because this guy kicked it up, and this one is going up a bit. But water is definitely going to be our next concern. But that's where I'm going to leave it off for right now. Hope you're enjoying it. Class M is super, super hard. And I know you guys are able to play right now, so I'm super excited for you. And I've already had a couple people tell me that they've lost their base to, like, asphy asphyxiation. And I'm really excited to hear that. Because it makes me feel better about how I lost my bases before. Anyways, my name is Nagark. This is Planet Base. And thank you for watching.